you're having a great sales day. You walk into this next appointment, you show up, the receptionist shows you right in. And all of a sudden you sit down across the table from your prospect and there's this massive look of worry and concern and instantly you consume it. Then you start to feel guilty. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a two step simple process that will 100% eliminate guilt and anxiety in your sales game. So this video is going to show you how to protect yourself from guilt and anxiety. What's happening, Sales Ascender? It is Tuesday. I hope you had a great weekend and you're back and we are ready for action. Let's just jump right into it. Today's question was great. Came from Janice. Janice says this. She says, Sean, every time I show up in front of a new potential client, they look worried or concerned. How should I handle this? And this used to plague me so much, especially if you're an empathetic person, meaning you wear what other people are looking and feeling like. And so I have a little bit of empathy inside of me. You probably do as well. And so sometimes I remember going into sales conversations where I'd sit in front of a prospect and they would just have this look of worry and concern and I would immediately wear it. It made me feel bad. Like it didn't feel good at all. And I always wondered if that stopped sales from actually occurring. So here are two steps, uh, one, two punch that's going to allow you to eliminate having to worry about that whatsoever. Very simple. Here's how to protect yourself from guilt and anxiety in sales or pretty much anything else that's out there. So number one is this, use assumption. I want you to assume that the worry and the concern that your prospect has on their face has absolutely nothing to do with you. Now, remember, when you're in sales, the first rule is not to assume unless you're protecting yourself from guilt and anxiety. So this is the caveat. This is the exception where we actually are going to use assumption because most of the time we never assume. And that's when it's a one to one conversation when you're like they have something behind the closed doors. But don't assume when you first walk in and sit down, the worry and the concern that your client has or your prospect has on their face is because of you. Because if you do this, here's here's what happens. I think this is the biggest thing that we got to remember. When we take on or we empathize or we wear that worry and concern from our prospects, it makes us feel guilty. This is where the guilt occurs from. So if we know this, then we just need to assume that their worry and concern is not our problem. But if we're in that place and we here's what happens, right? So we start wearing that we start feeling guilty, then we smell like guilt. And if you're wearing that guilt, guess what? People aren't gonna buy from you whatsoever, right? And so the, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So number one, don't assume that the worry and the concern that your prospect has is because of you. It's not. Ask the question, what's going on in your world, right? Secondly, we wanna project two things, helpfulness and control, all right? Always be in control of what you know, what you can serve, the impact you can make and always be there to help your clients, specifically two areas. Number one, you're the guide and your services are necessary. If it wasn't the case, you wouldn't be sitting across from that prospect, right? They wanna know what you have to offer because they believe what you have to offer might be something that could possibly solve one of the issues that they have and make their job and their life easier and simpler and just cleaner, right? So you're the guide and your services are necessary. This is an actual affirmation that I used to use every single morning. See, I use the Hal Elrod Savers Miracle Morning style. So a moment of silence, I do a body check, then I do my um, affirmations. This used to be one of them. I'm the guide and my services are necessary. I cycle through this on a daily basis. I always tell myself this because this projects control, right? Like that's the first thing. And the second thing is this, is just help them to lose their anxiety. And I can't stress this one enough. If you know they're anxious about something in their world, whether it's even personal or if it is mostly in, in terms of business, but if there is something that you can help personally, like this is very powerful. Why? Because they feel indebted to you for helping them lose their anxiety. Look, anxiety sucks. It's the stuff that makes you sweat, the hair that stands up on your back of your neck, the sweat beds that roll down your face. And if we can just take a second and eliminate the anxiety from our prospect, because we know we're the guide and our services are necessary, and most likely they have a problem that we can we can we can solve. 
you're going to help them lose their anxiety and they will be like, oh my gosh, I am so in this game with you. Like, I just want to work with you forever. And that is exactly how to protect yourself from guilt and anxiety in, in sales. That's it. Just project helpfulness and control. Know that you're, guide, you're the guide and your services are necessary. And then focus on helping them lose their anxiety. And when you do this again, that part B there, that 2B, that is one of the true secrets of true salesmanship because look, nobody likes anxiety. You felt it, I felt it, it sucks. So if you can help other people get rid of it, they will love you forever and ever and ever. And with this said, I hope this helped you today. I know it helped me a lot in my career, especially that part 2A right there. If you feel guilty and anxiety in, in sales for any reason, follow these. Use the assumption, again, that your prospects worry and concern is not your problem because if you do that and you wear it, it makes you feel guilty. That's how the guilt comes. Secondly, you got to remember that you're the guide and your services are necessary, meaning you know everything. Project control. You have control. You're a master at your craft. And then just help them lose their anxiety. Those two things will protect you and it will help you to close more deals. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the notifications, turn all the bells and whistles on, everything that does all good uh, for more sales mastery.